Who is Finn Balor challenging at SummerSlam to a rematch? We'll find out live tonight on Raw. And I see in my head, I'm locking the future and letting it go. Break the rules, break the laws. This is the moment we change it all. Yeah, greatness. Yeah, it feels like greatness. Woo! Great Welcome everyone to a brand new episode of the day night. Raw! That's we're only less than three weeks away from the biggest party of the summer in SummerSlam as we're live here in Orlando, Florida in the Amway Center where tonight in our main event the United States title will be on the line. Samoa Joe defending the U.S. title against the one and only Ricochet. Also later on tonight on Monday Night Raw we will have Cody Rhodes in action as you'll go one on one with Sami Zayn. Now what a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. Then with the game, Triple H, the Raw general manager, the COO of WWE. And it seems that he has a championship title in hand and it's, it's the European Championship. I mean, we haven't seen the European title since Backlash two, uh, 2K19. We have not seen the European title in years. Is this the replacement of the Cruiserweight title? Triple H kicking off Raw in a big way. Triple H, the King of Kings, the Cerebral Assassin who once held that European Championship back I believe 1997 to 1998. Uh oh, a return of a championship. The Cruiserweight title was no more. It is now the WWE European Championship. series of matches to determine a new champion very interesting by uh, the COO oh what the hell no wait a minute no 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 hey Shane McMahon holy we haven't seen Shane McMahon since Wrestlemania after uh, the chairman of the board, Vince McMahon and, and Triple H confronted him at WrestleMania after he lost to Seth Rollins and Vince McMahon fired Shane McMahon as Rock GM. What the hell is Shane doing here? Holy, everyone's in shock. Obviously Triple H. Triple H is not really happy about this. That is true. Triple H is the man in charge of Raw. Shane's back for payback. So that's his only reason why he's back here. Shane McMahon has a problem with taking that pedigree from Triple H at WrestleMania after Vince McMahon fired him. Shane's here to challenge the game at SummerSlam. Triple H is almost like he's he's laughing at this. Overlooking Shane McMahon, we saw what he could do inside the ring at WrestleMania when he went up against Seth Rollins. I mean, despite Shane McMahon being fired by his own father, he's still a McMahon. He has some part in this company. 
It's just that running man and that raw is now in the hands of the game. Triple H wants to give Shane McMahon some time to change his mind. What? Russell next week on Raw? Shane McMahon looking to prove that he's serious about having a match with Triple H. He wants to compete on Raw next week. Triple H says, sure, I'll find someone and if you impress me, then I'll take you up on your challenge. Oh my God. Shane O'Mac is serious. He said on the next episode of Raw, I will compete against anyone on the roster. I, I can't believe it. All because Shane McMahon wants some of Triple H. Well, we're gonna find out what's more to come here on Raw tonight. We're gonna hear from Finn Balor regarding issuing a challenge at SummerSlam later on tonight. Uh, what the hell? What the? Shelton Benjamin backstage! Attacking a Santa Swerve Scott! They have a match with each other coming up next! Shelton Benjamin making a statement, but is Swerve Scott ready to go? We'll find out next! The back live from Monday Night Raw is here comes Shelton Benjamin after he just attacked Isaiah Swerve Scott backstage moments ago before the break. Shelton Benjamin trying to get an, uh, an advantage in this uh, European Championship Series to find a new European Champion. And it seems that Swerve is ready to go despite getting assaulted earlier. Made it beeline towards the ring trying to get him trying to get him some of Benjamin, but Shelton able to turn it around. Shelton Benjamin able to turn it around. Referee trying to make sure both men are in position. Trying to readjust here. Referee able to separate the two just to ring the bell, and here we go. One on one, Swerve and Shelton Benjamin. Chops trying to go for a truck kick, but Benjamin had him scouted. My God. Still can't believe Shelton Benjamin had the nerve to attack Swerve Scott backstage. All to get an advantage in this series for the European title as Shelton Benjamin launching himself off the top. Swerve able to dodge a bullet. Again, we don't know the percentage that Swerve Scott's in to be competing in this match tonight. We don't know if he's in the 100%, 50%. I mean, he's moving. Has uh, Shelton Benjamin out after getting that head kick. And now just throwing them hands all over. And check, oh, able to, get, able to get the leg. Able to get the leg. And, wow. And then look at Swerve. Oh, launched himself a Benjamin. Oh, wait. Swerve turning around. Forearms. He couldn't nail the, the moonsault, but they're going to be in control here. Swerve just attacking that leg. And now Swerve got him here with a vertical suplex. Able to turn it around. Just throwing them hands all over Benjamin. Trying to drop the knee, but couldn't do it. Big shot to the midsection and now Benjamin sending Swerve in the corner again. Benjamin attacked him right before the break. As wait! Oh. Shelton Benjamin, a man who's held that European title in universe mode in the past. Looking to try to do what he can to get that title back. As again, throwing him hands all over Swerve. Oh. Able to launch him up the corner and planting him down with a bomb. It's like an alley-oop bomb now. And now, look at this. Tangle up the legs. They're almost like an inverted figure four. Just doing what he can again. He did assault him with a chair before the, the match even began. As Benjamin trying to go for the T-bone suplex. He trying to go for the classic T-bone. But Swerve turning around, but able to kick out. Remember, 
Benjamin the one is more. Wait, Benjamin! Planted face first! Swerve with a roll through and got him with the flatliner. And now Swerve Snapmare. Uh oh, here comes Swerve! Kick to the side of the skull. Is it enough to bounce back to win this match? To go further in the kick at a toe! Swerve wants to go further in this little series to gain that opportunity of being European champion. But Sheldon Benjamin's in his way. Benjamin being the roadblock. Oh, and trying to go for a crossbody. And Shelton able to get out the way. And boom. Oh. Sheldon Benjamin. Benjamin knows what it's like to hold on to championship gold in the past. The European title, the Intercontinental title, the US title. Elbow at the top. That's why he's called the gold standard. He's going to prove it again tonight. Again, Swerve. Elbow to the spine. But Swerve kicked out. What a way to kick off this new episode of Monday Night Raw. New stage. Everything. Triple H bringing back the European title. But Shane McMahon issuing a challenge for SummerSlam. And then Shane McMahon even said it himself that he would wrestle next episode of Raw just to get an opportunity at, at the game at SummerSlam. And Shelton Benjamin, oh, Swerve able to stop him there. Able to stop himself from going into the corner. Swerve able to battle back. Kick to the gut. And an uppercut. And now Swerve springboard, boom, saw lands on the Benjamin. And now Swerve standing shooting star. Is it enough for the win over Benjamin? And Swerve got him. The moon saw was able to get the job done tonight. Oh my god. Isaiah Swerve able to bounce back. As if he was the Cavaliers in a 3-1 deficit. Holy cow! Benjamin gets the win. Isaiah Swerve Scott gets the win tonight, live on Raw. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's Karrion Cross. Cross is in the building. He's here tonight. The next premium live event in WWE Universe mode is SummerSlam live in Nashville, Tennessee in the Nissan Stadium where we get to see all three brands featured Raw, SmackDown and NXT and for the first time ever in SummerSlam history it will be a two night event featuring all brands. You don't want to miss the biggest SummerSlam of all time. Weeks from tonight live on Pay Per View. Oh my god! What the hell? Oh my god, who? Oh my god, that's Beth Phoenix. I did I, I don't know what to say about that, ladies and gentlemen. Beth Beth Phoenix just just crashed. She crashed through the the table. Onto the floor, backstage. We we need we need some help out here. We need we we need medical assistance for Beth Phoenix. Something happened to where she fell through a table backstage. Well, I, I don't know how the hell am I gonna be able to switch gears from that. But ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Cody Rhodes versus Sami Zayn. But I really hope we get some medical personnel backstage on the case. Dealing with Beth Phoenix crashing and burning through the table. I I, I don't know what. I have so many questions, but I, I can't ask him now. Man, well, again we're trying to switch gears here. Cody Rhodes in the ring, the challenger for the Universal Title. They're gonna take on the Liberator. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, uh, a man that held a lot of championships over the years. I mean, believe it or not, Sami Zayn is one of the most successful superstars in all of Universe Mode. For those that don't know, in 2K16, Sami Zayn has achieved it all. Zayn is a former television champion, a former intercontinental champion, a former... 
I believe a former multiple time United States champion even held the WWE title back at WrestleMania the WWE World Championship Sami Zayn held at a WrestleMania in 2K16 that season alone Sami Zayn has accomplished so much and if you want to talk about within the last year former North American champion so you, you cannot overlook Sami Zayn but but we're gonna see what Sami's made of as the crowd chanting Sami sucks here in the arena tonight as right off the bat here in Orlando Florida Cody Rhodes taking it towards Sami Zayn. I'm being told now that there's an update regarding Beth Phoenix. She's being escorted to uh, what the what the hell? What Lesnar? That's Brock Lesnar's music, but he not scheduled to be here tonight. Hey, wait! Lesnar's in the ring. Lesnar's in the ring. Cody Rhodes, watch out! The Universal Champion making his mark on the challenger. Lester dropping Rhodes with an F5 and the only going in the match cover. Hook and a leg by Zane. Oh, but Rhodes. Rhodes got a lot more, a lot more left in the tank. I think Rhodes have to search, search deep down deep to kick out. I was gonna say that Beth Phoenix being escorted to a local medical facility as regards to what happened that incident moments ago and then Brock Lesnar came out and now Rhodes with a spear off the middle rope and the cutter Rhodes taking it towards Zane here goes for the cover for the kick out oh my god and now but what else can happen tonight? Look at Cody Rhodes. Oh, board buster. We able to punt down Sami Zayn. And now Cody Rhodes again. Got Zayn in position. Falcon Arrow. The American Nightmare in control here. Got Sami right where he won him. Fisherman Buster goes for the pin. Hook of the leg. So is it down. But a kick out at one. Cody Rhodes. I believe that's a shoulder claw. Sami Zayn now. After getting an advantage up top. Zayn looking to dive. Is he looking to fly here? And Zayn with a Herbert Conrana. Herbert Conrana off the top. And now here comes Sami with the Blue Thunder Bomb. Blue Thunder Bomb by Zayn. Able to drag Cody over to his back. Goes for the cover. Hook of the leg. Would it be enough to pin the American Nightmare? But Rhodes say otherwise. Cody Rhodes again despite getting F5 by Lester. Sami Zayn trying to capitalize. Springboard. Turn it to DDT. Cody Rhodes up to his feet. Cody Rhodes got caught. Zayn. Able to send him into the corner. Ooh, bit of back elbow. And now Cody Rhodes kicked to the gut. Uh-oh. Sami Zayn, he blocked his face, but he couldn't block his abdomen. That's where Rhodes caught him down under. And oh! Further breaker by Cody Rhodes. Is it enough for the win? Over Sami Zayn. No. Cody Rhodes. I'm sure Rhodes has his eyes set on that Universal Championship at SummerSlam as Cody Rhodes cross Rhodes on the Zane goes for the cover is it enough for the win who can the leg up the cross Rhodes oh and Zane Zane able to pop the shoulder up at the last moment holy and now look at this Sami Zane caught him with a headbutt was the crowd champ fight forever I mean, we're only halfway into the show, ladies and gentlemen, and this show has already been under chaos. I mean, Lester popping up out of nowhere. Beth Phoenix 
somehow crashing through the table onto the floor backstage. Shelton Benjamin attacking Isaiah Swerve Scott. Sami Zayn with the Haluma kick. Haluma kick on the ropes. Hook of the leg. Oh, the ropes. Able to get the sword up at the last moment. Barely got the sword up, but got the sword up nonetheless. And now, oh, an elbow there by Rhodes. And oh, he's trying to throw a caution at the win. Maybe a cross body, but not able to get Zane there. And now Sammy's in again, trying to capitalize. The master strategist in Sami Zayn. Will his plans be foiled by the American Nightmare as Cody Rhodes now. In position, arms are hooked. Up and down. Further breaker. Further breaker goes for the cover. No, again Zane able to kick out. Oh my goodness! And now Cody Rhodes measuring Zane. Could this be the fate of Lesnar? As Rhodes crossroads! Crossroads there by Cody Rhodes. Leg hook, shoulders are down. Wait, Sammy got the ropes! Sammy got his hands on the bottom rope, but it don't matter. Referee didn't see it. The referee didn't see it. The American Nightmare stands tall tonight over Sami Zayn. Oh my goodness. Back and forth action, but in the end, the American Nightmare got the job done tonight. As, hey, hey, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, wait a minute. Through the crowd, through the crowd, through the barricade, in the ring, cross from behind. Carry a cross. With the sleep jacket, the cross jacket, cross jacket applied. Cody Rhodes almost getting choked to death by Karrion Cross. And obviously Cross isn't too happy that Rhodes is the one that's challenging Lester for the Universal Title at SummerSlam. Oh my God! Karrion Cross is back. What else can happen tonight? Jeez. What the? Who the hell's that? Who's that walking backstage? What the hell's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back live on Monday Night Raw here in Orlando, Florida. Here comes the Raw Women's Champion. The Queen Charlotte Flair making her way down the aisle. Charlotte Flair got a big match at SummerSlam and should be taking on Bailey for the Raw Women's title. But I got a real big question is oh, the Pyros are flying. Pretty sure that's what type of superstar Charlotte Flair is. She makes looking, she makes having Pyro not be such of a big deal. But anyway, again, Shada Flair, big match, big match, big title defense at SummerSlam against Bailey. Two fourths of the horsewoman. Of the four horsewomen in WWE going at it at SummerSlam. Shada flooding to address the WWE universe. What do you mean you're not facing Bailey at SummerSlam? What does she mean by that? The higher ups in management? So she went above Triple H's head. And Bailey's no longer the, the challenger. Then who the hell is the one facing Charlotte at SummerSlam? Obviously the crowd doesn't like it here in Orlando. If it's not Bailey, then who's gonna face Charlotte? Uh, snobby as she is, demanding the best competition. Well, who, who's it gonna be? Uh, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. What? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. no. 
Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen! That's Brent Baker! That's Dr. Brent Baker! DND! From All Elite Wrestling! Holy! Are you kidding me? Brent Baker! Brent Baker in a WWE ring! Am I high? What the hell's going on? Oh my god! What I'm seeing here! The crowd can't believe it! Wow. Oh, well, things are getting a bit personal here. Oh my god! We apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is not really a PG show anymore, but still. Wow! What a statement by Britt Baker! You wouldn't have won championships if I was in the WWE! Britt Baker saying that SummerSlam will be the day that the Queen falls. Oh my God! SummerSlam! You cannot miss it! Britt Baker versus Charlotte Flair for the women's title! Also, they're on tonight, still to come. Finn Balor issuing an open challenge, I guess, to Summer, or for SummerSlam. Also, later on, we're going to have our U.S. title match coming up next in our main event. Ricochet challenging the, the U.S. champion, Samoa Joe. I'm so flustered, I can't even speak. All live on Raw tonight. Well, there's Cody Rhodes. Obviously, Cody Rhodes have not forgotten about Cross. Cody Rhodes just called out Karrion Cross next week. You're mine. Also, Cody Rhodes mentioning Brock Lesnar after that F5 in the matchup. Rhodes is laser focused on becoming a Universal Champion at SummerSlam. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event Ricochet, Samoa Joe, United States title on the line. Who will walk out with the gold? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with the one and only Ricochet. For the first time in how long, Ricochet is in a championship match. For the first time, I believe, since he battled for the Cruiserweight title. Ricochet has yet to compete for a title all year. And tonight, he has his chance of becoming the United States Champion for the first time in his career. A former Intercontinental Champion and a two-time WWE World Champion is the one and only. That's Ricochet. A man who innovates inside that ring. Is ready to go. Is he ready to become US Champion? Let's find out. Here we go ladies and gentlemen. What has, it has been a very eventful night. Here in the WWE, here on Monday Night Raw. A new episode heading towards SummerSlam. Here comes the United States Champion. 
Here comes the destroyer, the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. A man has also done so much in Universe World over the years. Samoa Joe, his first championship he won was the Intercontinental title from Kevin Owens in 2K16. Then went on to win. Money in the bank cashed it in on The Undertaker in 2K17 and became two-time WWE Universal Champion. Samoa Joe. Now a two-time United States Champion as well. Former television champion too. Samoa Joe has done a lot over the years and now tonight for the United States title in our main event. Samoa Joe versus Ricochet. US gold on the line. Will this be the last time Samoa Joe will be called a champion? Will Ricochet win his first US title? All on the line in our main event right now. Battle's rolling, and here we go. Match begins here on Monday Night Raw in Orlando, Florida. Right off the bat, Samoa Joe. Reverse atomic drop, and a boot to the face. And now, Joe with a set on to follow. A lot of great surprises end up, uh, ended up showing up tonight here. At, oh, on Raw, elbow right to the heart of Ricochet. I still can't believe Brett Baker. My God, DMD in the house. Kevin Cross return. Holy, Shane McMahon returned as well. Samoa Joe with a bow and arrow submission, but Ricochet able to get out the hold there. Ricochet now handspring and oh, caught him! I thought he missed it for a second, but he caught him with that handspring and then a Pele kick. And now oh, able to roll through. And now Samoa Joe kicked to the gut. Again, these two going at it, back and forth. Samoa Joe went through a grueling battle against Sheamus in the last episode of Raw. Again, we're only three weeks away from Seven Slam. What a cut in there by Ricochet. Is it enough for the win? For the one and only, but no. I don't think you got a count there. It's uh, Ricochet. Trying to keep Joe down up top. But Joe, shot fight to the skull, but a good Ricochet. Able to, able to fly, go! Oh! First the axe head up to the moonsault. Ricochet, I mean, to, to quote Rob Van Dam, he's, uh, he's also one of a kind. As Ricochet got him up on his shoulders, what's this? Oh, planted him! He planted it down, is it enough for the win? That fireman's carry slam kick out! Ricochet, uh oh, going up top. Ricochet going up top. Ricochet, six stone! No! Knees. Joe got the knees up. Joe able to get the knees up and now trying to go for that Coquina clutch. Pump kick blocked it. And now look at Joe from behind. German suplex. Full Nelson. And now the Samoa submission machine, crotch jacket. He got him down with the suplexes to retain the goal. No, Ricochet. Ricochet still in the match. Still able to fight. A Samoa Joe. Ooh, again, got Ricochet in the corner. Samoa Joe now, uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not good if you're Joe here. Down the bustle buster. This is not good if you ricochet cover. Hook of the line to retain the title. No, oh, Ricochet got the shoulder up. Shoulder up at the last moment. Ricochet able to still be fighting. Still able to fight, still able to continue the matchup. And obviously Samoa Joe on the attack, you don't know. You don't know what to do next if you're Samoa Joe at this point. Ricochet able to line on his feet. Got him in the corner, face first in the corner. Throwing them chops, but oh, kick to the gut. Wicked chop. And I got him up on the shoulders again. Just walking, Ricochet, all the way to one side to the other. And now, oh, just stripping his boot with his face. And, oh, God. That running face wash. 
And now look at Joe coming up top. Are you kidding me? Samoa Joe looking to fly. Uh oh. 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 Not able to connect the, the double axe handle. I think he overshot. But Joe got him in the corner. And Samoa Joe again on the attack. Ricochet, kick to the gut. What's he doing here? Oh, wait. Roll through, wait, and now a, oh, a Pele kick! And then, hey, wait! Hey, wait a minute! That's a Celtic Warrior! Sam is making his way down the aisle! Oh, wait, Ricochet with the 630! Oh, come on! Sam is getting involved! Causing a disqualification! You've gotta be kidding me! Sam is ruining a great matchup! Out of jealousy and spite! Are you kidding me? And now Sam is hightailing it, going backstage now. The fans are disappointed and so am I. The Celtic Warrior ruined a good match here. Oh, wait a minute. There's Triple H. Sam is not happy that he's not in that US title picture. Thinking that he should be the champion. Uh oh. Triple H making a match for next week. Ricochet, Sheamus, after that disqualification nonsense that happened moments ago. Uh oh. Uh oh. A oh, steel cage! A triple threat steel cage at SummerSlam! Wow. Two birds with one stone. That's, well, well, ladies and gentlemen, triple threat U.S. title in a steel cage. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. Next week's episode of Raw is going to get very big. A six-man tag team match for the first time ever. The New Day going up against the Hurt Business on Raw next episode. Also, after what happened with Karrion Cross attack Cody Rhodes after his matchup with Sami Zayn, Rhodes wants revenge, and he'll get it, but he'll go one-on-one -on -one with the tail, with the torment in Karrion Cross. Also, Ricochet getting vengeance after what happened moments ago with Sami's costing Ricochet the US title. These two will clash next week live on Raw. Also next week, for the first time ever in Universe Mode history, Shane McMahon will compete on Raw against uh, an opponent of Triple H's choosing. Holy, but also, we will hear from Cameron Cross to explain his actions of his his disappearance and also his return here tonight against Cody Rhodes. We'll find all of this out next week live on Raw. Let's take it back earlier tonight when Beck Phoenix sadly crashed through that table backstage where it caught the referee and everyone else off guard at the fact that Beck Phoenix from I don't know where just crashed through the table and hopefully we'll get an update down the line and now ladies and gentlemen it is now time to hear what the Prince has to say it has been a very chaotic night on Raw We've seen a lot of shocking returns, debuts, and moments that were ruined by a Celtic warrior. But tonight, right now, it's time to hear from Finn Balor. For those that don't know, for those that are new, for those that believe that Finn Balor is being done wrong elsewhere, well, I'll tell you this. In this universe mode, on this platform, Finn Balor is a former Universal Champion, but not in the way that you think, because Finn Balor's held the Universal title for 440 days. From 2K19 into 2K20, Finn Balor is an unstoppable beast. And now it seems that the Prince has something on his mind regarding SummerSlam. Finn Balor teased it earlier last week. He teased it a few days ago about 
what he has in store for the biggest party of the summer. What he plans to make here tonight. The Prince, a former, not only like I mentioned, the Universal Champion, but also a former two-time United States Champion. Former Tag Team Champion at WrestleMania this year with AJ Styles, who's on SmackDown. Finn Balor. Also a former IWGP United States Champion as well. Defending that title on SmackDown in the past and now tonight it's time to hear what Balor has to say. Balor had the opportunity to win that U.S. title from uh, Dean Ambrose last year. That's why he was able to hold that IWGP U.S. title. Red Balor saying he hasn't been himself in the last few weeks. Balor saying he lost his edge, but it, he knows a way to fix that by having a match. at SummerSlam. But not just any match, apparently. A rematch? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's... He's calling out Jay White, who won the IWGP World Title a few months ago. Uh, oh my! What the hell? Wait a minute! Speaking of Jay White, I mean his music is playing. Oh wait! Through the crowd, Jay White from behind. Jay White with the IWGP World Title off the skull of Balor. And oh, Jay White taking it towards Balor, surprising him, surprising the WWE Universe. Jay White has stepped through. Blade Runner. Jay White just stepped through the Forbidden Universe. Jay White accepts the challenge. For the NWGP World Title of SummerSlam! Are you kidding me? What else could happen on Raw? We're out of time, Lloyd Shogun! Tune in to next week!